Okay. Now we've got the basic layout of the muzzle flash in order to make it work, but this won't work because like the shoot timer we need to create the exact same thing for the muzzle flash timers and that's gonna update the timer for us so let's do that next if open bracket muzzle flash timer dot no sorry not dot is greater than zero then we want muzzle flash timer minus equals time time dot delta time now if you remember in our muzzle flash function we said if a muzzle flash timer is greater than zero we want all of these to become false so in order this in order to the script to find that out we have to put the function name under here muzzle flash show open bracket close bracket now what this is doing is as soon as a timer goes greater than zero it starts looking through muzzle flash show and then if it finds something related to muzzle flash is greater than zero it does whatever's underneath it and in this case we had muzzle flash dot emit equals false light equals false light two equals false light three equals false and now we're going to find out if our timer is equal to zero or anything that the muzzle cooler is equal to and if it is we're going to start showing the muzzle flash muzzle uh, muzzle flash sorry about that underneath this following bracket you want to say if open bracket muzzle flash uh, muzzle flash timer sorry is equals to zero equals equals to zero open bracket close bracket close curly brace and underneath this first of all you want to say timer I mean a timer sorry muzzle flash timer is equals to muzzle flash cooler so muzzle cooler I name lines there we go and then call the muzzle, fa uh, muzzle flash function muzzle flash show open bracket close bracket and close that save it and that's made our muzzle flash and let's see if it works Okay, hold on, let's minimize this, see what's going on in the timing area. Okay, let's run it and see what happens. Gonna go down, there we go, okay. Mother flash cooler is equal to nine. Oh, it's frozen. Uh, minus, it stops at minus, that's strange. Okay, let's go have a look what happened there. So that would occur over here. Mother flash timer is equal to that. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. If open bracket muzzle flash timer is less than zero. Obviously, the most common thing I forgot was this. Muzzle flash timer is equals to zero. There we go. Okay. Now we run this. There you go. You can see the muzzle flash right there. So far it's pretty good. But the problem is, as you can see, when we shoot, the muzzle flash shows up. But then it disappears for some time, and we don't want that. Look, after a certain time it disappears. I want it to keep shooting constantly. And um, in order to do that, I need to set a key timer. So if we're holding a key in forever, it's going to put delay on it, so every one second, and that gives enough time for the muzzle flash and the uh, shoot cooler time to reset, and then it does the muzzle flash again. So let's do that next. Go back to your script, and we add two new variables, var, key timer, it's going to be type float. going to be equals to by default zero for q 
key cooler with type float to be equals to zero no one save that go into your update function and you want to say if open bracket key timer is greater than zero key timer minus equals time dot delta time then you want another if statement saying if it's uh, less than zero so back to the zero if statement open bracket key timer dot oops uh, it's going to be less than zero bracket close bracket then key timer it's going to be equals to zero now right on top of the if input dot get key you want to place if open bracket key timer timer is equals equals to zero then then the key will re-recognize itself as being pressed and then you want to close that off at that brackets end in there so you want to put one underneath this which will close the update function I'll save it back into unity and let's test this out now I'm just going to run this and see what happens Yeah, there you go. See, it solves that problem. And that's how you make your mother flash. And that's how you get the ray cast to project particles when it hits something. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Take care.